Welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. I'm back with another collective read. Once again, guys, this is all the collection of energies. Take what resonates. Please leave the rest. Do not try to force any of these messages. This is just what spirit is giving the collective, okay? So take what resonates and just leave the rest. This message is going to be for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay. You got Venus on the board. So Venus is the planet of love and beauty. We have Mercury. You want to communicate to someone about love here. We have Moon in the reverse. So I feel like the secret's out. And Uranus. Uranus talks about individuality. Wanting to have achieved goals and do things by yourself. So... Right away, I'm picking up, you could have expressed yourself to someone. That you are in love with someone and you want to be by yourself. Well, this is what you need to do, guys. I am a seer. So, if it hasn't happened yet, keep on living because you, you will see it. Or well, this is what spirit is telling you what you need to do, okay? So, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to use my original deck. Let's just see what spirit tells me. So, what's going on with Sagittarius, Venus? Mercury, Uranus, Moon, and Reverse. Look at here. Twin flame relationship. So we definitely talking about twin flame. So you are in love with a twin flame. You have a twin flame partner that you love. And Spirit is saying you're having some abandonment issues. Maybe you're not going towards your twin flame or you feel abandoned in some way. Oh, because you're still with a karmic. And the karmic is using the child for ransom here. So you are not... Moon could be like you're not following your intuition here. This person is definitely in a demonic cult. A very demonic person. Okay. And you are their star. So... This karmic could be the one that is... Yeah, look at here. God is watching, though, at the end of the day. So, this karmic is the one that's having a lot of abandonment issues. She could be in a demonic cult, playing with the devil. Clarify the demonic cult, then. That's an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be playing with your mental... Okay, Spirit saying there's no love there. It's all about money. And you need to vibrate at a higher frequency. So this is an air sign karma. It could be male and female. Okay. That social media stalks you. That is still playing with the devil per se. We have the moon on the board. Okay. And God is watching what's going on. Could be a karmic masculine. And now twin flame, did it, it did? Okay. So spirit was saying that it's not a twin flame relationship. So Sag, you could be thinking you're in some type of soul partnership here. And spirit is saying this is not your twin flame. You need to be by yourself. This person is in a de demonic relationship, a cult. She could be doing some type of magic here. Could be a karmic masculine here. Who's doing it? It's an air sign. Okay. You may have a karmic who's a copycat. She could be copying divine feminine. Or karmic masculine copying your divine masculine here. She could have a very controlling masculine who's plotting and planning and doing the magic here and she has your child what's this mercury venus brighter days ahead karmic is pregnant so maybe the communication is this person is pregnant by a karmic masculine here who's in a demonic cult yeah who's a narc so this could be the sad and got legal issues. So, this Sag, you could be the karmic masculine. Or you the narc. 
That's pregnant. That's a karmic copycat. Just saying. You could be pregnant by a masculine who gave you a STD here. And you using magic on the air sign. And you know that's not your twin. And God is watching you. You could be having abandonment issues. People say you need to heal. And you're not healing. What's Mercury? Oh, bird days ahead. Okay. You could have said she was pregnant here. But Spirit is saying it's brighter days ahead. Love and happiness. God is going to bring the tower, which means everything they're doing is going to backfire. You see this STD in the big mix. So this karmic has got an STD by this karmic masculine here who's very controlling. be a Sagittarius who's a narc. Okay, happy being with you. This karmic is using black magic, so that's what the tower is. It's gonna backfire. She's gonna go to jail or have some type of legal issues here. You could be married to this karmic masculine and they're both plotting and planning and they got spiritual transmitted diseases which is demonic entities on them. STD. Yeah. So she got an STD by this deadbeat baby father, this karmic masculine here. She could be telling you she that she's pregnant by you. And Spirit is saying it's this deadbeat baby father here. Who's not your twin. So this could be a divine feminine too. Person right. This person is married. And you know this collective. And you confused about this person, but there's nothing to be confused. They could be keeping you confused. You could be in a controlling relationship. Now take y'all pick. This person is getting sick because God is bringing that tower, which means it's backfiring here. This karmic done got pregnant by a deadbeat person who's sick. And they jealous of you. This could be a masculine who's jealous. And it's not safe, so don't take these people back. Yeah, and they're in a codependent relationship with this person. They're trying to pregnancy trap you, but it ain't gonna work person was messing with a lot of holes here, this karmic masculine. And they going, yeah, they don't want to change, Spirit is saying. The whole family is karmic. And divine masculine, these are the secrets. This could be your secrets, because you don't love yourself. So some of you, this could be to the masculine, or this is their karmic. You got it all on the board. The mar divine masculine, I want to say DeMarco. Divine Masculine, you need to love yourself. You're just holding back because you got secrets. But your karmic is pregnant with a deadbeat baby father who got STDs. Now, this could be you now. You just messing with hoes. You didn't want to change here. You was over here codependent. This person got pregnant by a, another karmic masculine. Who, and she knew she was pregnant. And she knew she had some STDs. And she was copying your divine feminine, trying to act like she was the twin. And you know all of this, and you just still sitting there because you don't want your secrets out. What's the secret? I see you're going to make me expose your secrets when I'm asking because you just can't see me. What's the secret? Because you're scared of commitment. W. M or W. What's the secret? You're a sex addict. So your secret is you may have a STD. And you're very delusional. You could be the one that's in this controlling relationship with this karmic here. You got a crazy family. They don't want you don't want to change. You keep messing with hoes. This person is trying to trap you with a baby. And it ain't safe for you to love this person because they got a sick deadbeat. Baby father who gave them the STD, and you know this about masculine. This person is married here. 
She's a nurse. Now you could be the sad or yeah. She ain't got no money, so she could be trying to come back and ask you, cute. Can you hold? Can she hold you? So you say this person is knows about your twin flame and they too far gone. And she mistreating her kids. So you need to call it CPS. Oh, Lord. These, these stories, they be the same stories. Let me see, guys. I'm trying. I'll be trying here. Yeah, you ain't trying to find masculine. And the reason why it's the same story is because you guys not following your intuition. Like, I can't change the story dynamic because Spirit wants y'all to know that these people are sick and they disease and they're broke. And y'all just sitting there. Just because you don't want the secret out that you're a sex addict. I just gotta grow up, okay? Seriously, and I'm not even trying to. the one of they if you look at the four cups they keep projecting them the, the rose the romance god is watching you project the romance your wish nine of cups king of pentacles in reverse which means that you know you could be heartbroken because you're getting a divorce for some of y'all or maybe you don't got no finances you're being selfish. Ten of Swords. End it. You gotta end it. Now, I would say you could be going through some type of divorce. Okay. Up or down. Yeah. Okay, so you do know the truth. And it's breaking your heart, Divine Master. Because you got betrayed. So that, that could have been in the past, man. Yeah, Spirit say, don't wait. You know the truth. You got clarity. You're going to be in five of pentacles. Lack of no money, no finances. Yeah, you got to release that headache, that stress. This queen of swords in reverse. It's karmic. You broke. You could be broke because you know what to do with divorce now after a betrayal. Yeah, and the nine of pentacles. No abundance. You're just codependent, which means you don't want to be single. You don't want to be by yourself. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Cups. Okay. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you're dealing with, or you just need to follow your intuition and get with your true divine feminine here and release that devil. Okay. Release that toxicity, that connection. Okay, those third parties. Okay. All that drinking and partying and whatnot. Yeah. Nine of Wands. It keeps hurting you. Person study being sneaky and deceptive and lying. And you're just holding back for some of you. I feel like this karmic is just lying and going into hermit and doing things behind your back. Spirit is saying you need to defend yourself. You need to block him. Hopefully this is something that you're doing or you need to do. Yeah. Okay. And go to your destiny. So you could, but with the seven of swords, what's the seven of swords? Seven of Swords. Five of Swords. Mental anguish, playing mind games. Emperor, being very controlling. You could be the one playing the mind games. Page of Pentacles. For money. Yeah, 
married to a whore. She having sex for money. And she could be still lying to you in a marriage. And you could be with a third party queen of wands. Giving this person money for sex. Father figure. So maybe she could be lying about a child still. So I saw everything. Yeah. A family dynamic here. So this person could still be married. Have a family. At the same time, she still could be playing mind games with you. Want you to give her money, but yet she's married or in some type of man. Want you to give her money, yet she's married and in some type of family dynamic. And she don't love you, exactly. She just want money, Divine Masculine. You better wake up. She's a fake-ass high priestess. Maybe the secret's out because we had the moon in reverse. I feel like you're just not following your intuition. You need to love yourself, divine master. Okay, nine of wands, ace of wands in reverse. This person, she don't let her guard down. She's not heard about having sex with a lot of people. She's just taking leaps. You could not be having sex with her no more. Making a decision to just move on. Well, at least that's what spirit kind of tell you. Make the decision to move on. But you're not moving forward. So, yeah, you are being a fool, Divine Master. Or whoever this is. Yeah, you're Trying to not move forward. I feel like Spirit is just saying, Spirit getting mad with you. Who's mad, Spirit? Yeah, God is getting upset. Spirit is getting upset because you're not walking away, Divine Masculine. You're just sitting there, okay? And you're getting karma. Go ahead and divorce this person. You could be still, you could be balanced, and you're just sitting there. Yeah, four swords. Spirit is saying, go heal yourself. Now, for others of you, you could be healing, and, and you have walked away from this person, and they get mad because you're getting happy, and you're healing, and you're changing your ways. With the death card and the seven of cups in reverse. It's like, yeah. You could be changing and you, you could be no longer confused. And you're not working on that here. Yeah. Because it was burdening you and it was commitment. So you could be just trying to walk away or that's what spirit is telling you. Going and walk away from this connection. Some of you, you have. Some of you need to. And, and spirits get mad because you guys are deciding just to sit there and not move forward. You have to end this shit and move and change your life. You don't want to change. And so you're going to have bad karma because you're sitting there. Okay. Others of you, you are walking away, balancing yourself and trying to heal. And karmics is getting mad, so they're trying to plot to not let you go. They don't want you to go. Okay, they want you to stay in a foolish energy. Okay. But some of y'all are not having sex with this person. And they could be getting mad too because you're healing and not having sex because the secret is out. About this person just not loving you, just wanting some hand out. Okay, so you call wind to it. Okay, and you're getting happy and you're getting more spiritual. And this person is trying to lie and keep causing you more conflict. This Queen of Wands in reverse is hope. Others of you, Emperor, you don't want to have a sex with her. You don't want to lie in this deal and being sneaky. And that's why God is still blocking you from this connection. Because you're not willing to change your ways. You're still partying. 
Others of you, you know the truth. You spoke your truth with the mercury on the board. And you're no longer giving into this relationship here. You're rejecting to juggle now. And you're letting go of the devil, toxicity. And they're heartbroken here because they want you to stay single. You could be a Sagittarius. And Spirit is saying you need to love yourself, Divine Masculine. Continue to love yourself, okay? Three some four some five so somebody's still having a lot of orgies and not blocking these three some. Okay, and that's still a part of not loving yourself. It could be P, first name, middle initial, last name. This is not your twin flame here. Okay, this person is, is saying bad things about you. So you could be still having threesomes with this person here. Thinking this is your twin. It could be magic. Karmic is still pregnant and having a lot of orgies. Who is this P spirit? Clarify P. So you're not resisting these orgies. So you guys start not having all this orgy sex, guys. You are just giving your energy away to devil. This person got abandonment issues. These are not y'all twin flames that y'all over here have. This person is having a lot of orgy sex. She could not be telling you that for money. Ooh. Yeah. Who was here? Yeah, sexual healing. When I'm around. So, she she just you, using you for sex. Or maybe you're not giving it to her. But Spirit is saying you gotta let go of that codependency and stop giving these people your sexual energy. Okay, because you're getting bad karma, because you're still with these karmics, or, they, yeah, Emperor, you're getting bad karma because you're still making unhealthy choices, people are still stabbing you in your back, and you're just sitting there, this whole family, but you want to hold on to this karmic, and you know you got a whole spiritual connection that, that God is trying to show you. But, you know, hard head make a soft butt. You don't want to keep sitting there. You'll see. Yeah. Let go of that karmic partner. Okay. You are a star, divine masculine. Yeah, go to your twin flame relationship. Your true twin flame. Not this karmic. She's not your twin flame. So maybe she keeps trying to. And you know this, man. You know this. Pursue, you're not pursuing your dream. You could be a celebrity and, and you're destined to be somebody great, Divine Master. Yet you're just sitting there accepting this old karmic who over here. Yeah, you're going to go to jail. Whether it's mental or spiritual jail. For this Princess of Wands, this could be a young person you're messing with. Or she could be dealing with some type of money. Because you don't want to say sorry. That don't make no sense. And you're scared to reach out. Spirit is saying. You got to let that stuff go. You got to understand. Spiritual connections is all about maturing guys. It's like if you're still holding back. Because you don't want to apologize. That don't make no sense. You're going to go to jail. All because you don't want to apologize. Is it really that serious? Your freedom. Sagittarius, I'm going to let it go. Once again, what goes around comes around, Deja.
ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਖਰਾਬ ਸੀ